we first got our, our Oculus kits, I was kind of prepared for it just to be like the next level in, like it's just gonna be more immersive. And what I was not prepared for was how the hardware was able to tap into real emotions in the people playing the game. To a game developer and a creator, that's like total gold. Just the simple act of, of reaching out and just batting a binder away and then watching it spin off, it's totally fucking magic. Name a video game that you can look at right now without VR that can make you feel that way. You can't. We never had that tool as game developers and creators before. We all love being entertained. We all go to the movies, we all play video games. You know, being entertained is a big part of being human. We like to listen to stories, we like to have experiences. Near freezing temperatures. And that 659 tons of pressure per square foot pushing on your submarine's window. I think people are quickly understanding that if you're just making passive content in VR, you're not really realizing the potential of the platform. In VR, suddenly you have this ability to change the perspective that you have on a story or on a character. No longer are you a passive observer sitting in a seat munching on popcorn while you're being directed where to look in the box. It's up to you where to look. How do we tell a story in a virtual environment where we can't control where you're looking? The viewer's now the camera, and we have to use other tricks to bring things to your attention. We definitely have to use some new language in terms of how we story tell and how we put it together, how you construct the scene, even how you light it, how the animation works and moves, the character moves in and out. You know, we have no camera cuts. You know, my, my bad um, uh, interview here over, it will be edited down into something that makes sense for people later on and you'll cut shots out. We can't do that in VR. If you've got a, a character that's, you know, delivering a performance or telling a story prior to a section of gameplay, then you're not going to be able to cut that into pieces because you don't know where the audience is going to look. It has to be fluid and act just like the real world. But who are you? What is your experience? What is your perspective? Are you actually a part of that story? You're not dealing with a linear sort of storytelling mode, right? You have the ability to tell a story or to create an experience that can happen in all directions at once. That's what's exciting about being part of this, is to figure out what, what are the rules, what works, what doesn't, and how to tell a story. How do you make people care for a character? How do you make people feel sad for a character? How do you make them feel happy for a character? A lot of those feelings are based on traditional techniques that have been developed for film, but taking them into virtual reality requires understanding of the medium and the strengths and weaknesses of the medium. The first time you sit down, you put on a headset, and you get into a story and you watch it happen in front of you, that is an epiphany. You feel like emotionally overwhelmed. And then the next step is the first time a character in that story makes eye contact with you, it'll almost knock you over. Uh, I got invited to see the Henry story from the Oculus uh, Story Studio. It's an amazing, simple, clean, little experience that puts you inside of a short animation film. You feel like you're there, you feel like you're present, it's really amazing, and the lead character just looks at you. I can get up and walk around, and he can still make eye contact with me because he knows where I'm at, so I'm in the story. Because you are there, so something should react to you. You don't necessarily in an obvious way, you don't have to get a score or anything, but the story can evolve around you. Soon, you will be a part of whatever world someone can create for you, instead of just passively watching it. VR is very, very good at making it your story in a way that you could only really do in a dream before this.